stopping at Graceland and you no know, stopping at Niagara Falls, which we used to do. But it's it's still it's glamorous because every time we walk out on the stage, I do. It's it's a brand new thing. It's a brand new place. It's a brand new audience, and you feel this brand new energy come before you when you walk out there and hear the audience and stand in front of the microphone and just give them all you have. And but when it's over, I can't wait to get out of these clothes and get into my. Night clothes, so I can get on the bus and chill. And it's nice. Uh, it's and it's all men. It's Francine and all men. Blues America, blues people. Sound bite. Little village. A little village, motherfucker. A little village. Fucking thing there about a village. <laughs> Nothing in the song has got anything to do with a village. Well, a small town. I know what a village is. Well, all right. You don't. You don't name them, Tyler. You name it after you. I oh, gotta get you with it, son. You name what you want it. You name it your mammy if you want it. <laughs> Take one. Roll it. Mm mm. That's too fat, baby. So look, look. You, 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 you only got three. You only got one course. Bum, 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 bum. See, I'm not playing. I, I, I toss it off and then I come in on the beat. Just singing, don't no, no blow till till I move on the mic. Yeah. Blues America, like cornbread and chili. Mmm, doggy. Damn, that's good. Honey, bring me the paper, pour me a beer, and turn on the TV and sweep up over here. You can tell me you love me to put off my blues, but what do you do when it quits being new? Now you be home for supper and don't slam that door. And you better be sober, man, or I'll give you what for. So now, after singing over 20 years with Lyle Lovett, does his music become your music? Oh, absolutely. Always has. Always has. I take him right inside of here. I take him right inside of my very soul and stroke him real good. He likes that. I do what Lyle wants me to do, but he does give me a, a certain amount of leeway because I have using a couple solos now in the show. You know, why women don't get the blues. Is, uh, have you seen La Love is Show? There you go. And he's brought me up no matter where it is, no matter how long or short the show is, why women is going to be in the show. Seen this has been mentioned already. Um, we recently lost your sister, local singing legend Margot Reed. Now, when you're recording and touring, uh, do you feel her with you? Always, always. We we sing a lot of the same songs. Uh, when I was here in Phoenix, she was singing all these great songs, and then she'd always say, "You ought to sing this song." I said, "Margot, we we can't sing the same songs in the same town." But as soon as I left, I sing Marco songs. And I, every time I open my mouth, I feel like Margot is there. And a lot of certain phrasing that you do, 
I, I know it's hers, and I can just, I can throw out a Margot phrase. Like at the end of Funny Valentine, she goes, Oh, and you know, and I say this is a Margot Reed phrase. So, you know, Margot's with us all the time. What do you miss most about Margot? Uh, her laughter, her big eyes. She can wink one eye like nobody in the world. She used to do it for me all the time. Margot, give me a wink. She go, and big eyes would go up and down. Her smile, her energy, her voice. Golly, we were playing. Um, I got a right to sing the blues a song that we did together on the Shades of Blues CD. And every time I think of that song, I, I can hear her singing it. And all the other great songs that people would request that she left for us, you know, Be Happy and oh, and, and the sad songs, that, the tort songs, she just grabbed like this and just, whew, everything. If she was listening right now, what would you say to her? Margo, we need to sing a song together right now, baby, because we've done it many times. If we're together, and no matter what, we, you know, if we're in a restaurant and somebody's got a birthday in the corner, we go, let's go sing happy birthday to them, and we'll walk over to their table. I'd say, Margo, let's just, let's do one right now. And we we would break into it. And it, she'd usually be the one to request which one it was I she always had the best ideas. She always had the first ideas. She always knew just what to do and when to do it. And I'd just follow along on, <laughs> like a little sister should. We don't have time to lead into all of the music that you've recorded over the years. Of course, I'd like to mention that you released some critically acclaimed records, including I Want You to Love Me, Shades of Blue, and I Can't Make It on My Own. Which one of these stands out to you? That, you know, that Can't Make It on My Own was the one that I was able to bring my family to Atlanta to sing with me on. That That is, that is a recording. I totally forgot about that. Uh, because when the record companies uh, sold out or closed up, you know, someone else bought all the programs and redistributed those CDs. So I don't, I'm not attached to them. But uh, can't make it on my own because all I thought about was the family. Because we hadn't recorded up to that point until I brought them all to Atlanta for a week and got them in the studio. Oh my God, I totally forgot about that. you down to the crossroads you ready you ready Francine Reed, we're out of time today. My last question to you, what do you want people to feel when they hear your music? If you're feeling bad, I hope it feel, makes you feel glad. If you don't want to feel glad, I hope it makes you feel whatever you, you want to feel down in you, depending on what I'm singing. So I, I just try to open myself up to you and hope you feel better than you did before you came before me. Well, there you have it, folks. The great Francine Reed. Links to her website are available on bluesamerica.com. Her new album is out now. Go check it out. The Way Way Back Blues is straight ahead. 
Voices America is endorsed by the Phoenix Blues Society. Learn how to become a member at phoenixblues.org. What we're going to do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. It's time to go back, baby. Way, way back. This is the Way, Way Back Blues. Truck brought me to Kentland. I hold boat to Kentland, but I made Chicago all by myself. A truck brought me to Kentland. I hold boat to Kentland. I made Chicago all by myself. My baby's doing all right. She's learning to love somebody else. Chicago When I walked from Chicago Snow was up to my knee When I left Chicago Walked out from Chicago Snow was up to my knees My mind was rocking Like a ship on a stormy sea Traveling highway, walking that lonesome highway, cause my baby was a me. I didn't mind traveling highway, the walking down the highway, cause my baby, she was a me. When I was on my sick bed, she was a real friend indeed. Just can't make the grade Just can't pull the hill These tough breaks Follows me on and on I can't make the grade Can't pull the hill These tough breaks Follows me on and on I've had nothing but tough breaks From the very day That I was born When I die, when I pass away, write a VCR on my chest. When I die, when I pass away, write a VCR on my chest. So the whole world can read a bad of child's request. That's the Way Way Back Blues with Bill Gaither, also known as Leroy's Buddy and lesser known as Little Bill Gaither, singing Bad Luck's Child Bequest. Great title. <laughs> Although he was born south of the Ohio River, he wasn't from the Deep Delta like many artists of his era. He actually grew up in Belmont, Kentucky, outside of Louisville, where he descended from a slave family owned by the Gaither Estate, known as the founders of Gaithersburg, Maryland. His biggest records were Champ Joe Lewis and Life of Leroy Carr. And despite the fact that he was one of the most active pre-war blues musicians of his day, contributing to well over 100 sides for Deccan OK between 31 and 41, he managed to be one of the most understudied blues artists of his stature. We know that he was best buds with Leroy Carr, and he recorded several well-known tributes to him after his untimely death at the age of 30. 